Right now, our valley is dealing with the highest level of mosquito activity it's ever seen. It's what so many people are talking about. Clark County adding some new technology, though, to zap these pesky bugs right out of the sky. Brian Will shows us how a new tool replaces some backbreaking work. It might sound like a mosquito, but this new drone is designed to zap them. So that, that safety switch is what I pressed in the back, and that's what arms it. Meet RC1, named after Rusty Carlson, who started the Aquatic Insect Suppression Program for Clark County. And he was a mentor to Chris Bramley, who now runs this department. It means a lot to be flying on his birthday and a drone named after him. So this is our way of honoring him to keep him flying in our hearts and in our program for as long as we can. Carson passed away a few years ago, and now his nephew pilots this drone. All right, going up. What used to take hours of backbreaking work is now being replaced by this drone, which can cover areas like this in a way shorter time with way less manpower. Faster we're able to either treat ahead of rainfall or to treat right after rainfall, the better our the better off we are to reduce mosquito populations. The $68,000 drone can carry up to 50 pounds of pesticide, which they spray in large areas of standing water and places like this. It's a bacteria that only feeds on mosquito larvae, carnamid midges, and black flies. So that's the only insects it affects. It doesn't affect people, it won't affect pets. The drone will be used for the first time this monsoon season, and they will eventually plan to use it on the Colorado River to help manage insect populations there. A job made a little easier with this new tool. We wish that it was around, you know, 30 years ago. Brian Will, 8 News Now.